was our whole lab that decided that we wanted to enter it. Um, we're a very enthusiastic lab and we never had heard of the competition in the two previous years that it ran. Um, so when we did hear about it, we thought, you know, we can try this. McKegg's PhD topic is the first from Carleton to be entered in this competition where students from universities across North America choreograph and perform dances illustrating their dissertations. Her dissertation could lead to shorter and more accessible tests for fatal diseases like Alzheimer's and heart disease. We use a procedure to find these ultimate DNA strands and it kind of mimics evolution and there's a lot of different generations where we try to narrow down our pool of DNA into the best one. So you see in our dance each kind of round we have less and less people at the end that stick around with that target. So and then in the end we have that one ultimate DNA strand. McKegg and her lab won $500 for their dance in the preliminary round and recognition in Science Magazine. Well, it's definitely the most exciting part of everything that's happened. Uh, Science Magazine is the most, if not, yeah, it is one of, if not the most prestigious magazine out there. After completing her PhD, McKegg hopes to pass on her passion for chemistry as a professor. That's the most important part about teaching is engaging your students, getting them interested and excited about what they're learning. I did have a professor who did a little dance in a biology class. They danced like mitosis and meiosis, and that had a big impact on me in terms of remembering that procedure and enjoying that class. Kayleen Waits, CJTV News, Ottawa.